Hey, ladies and gents, back with the review of the new Italian line. So I cheated. I jumped up to the tier 5, uh, the tier 1 through 2, 3, 4. Maybe I'll go back and show you guys them. Uh, uh, just, they just, There's nothing there that would even remotely, remotely interest me. Uh, so I jumped up to tier 5, uh, burned up some uh, free XP, and yeah, so here we are, tier 5. And what do we got? Uh, well, essentially we have a... Not really. I mean, yeah, it is a paper tank, um, but this thing is. They did have a mock-up of it. Maybe that's a better word for it. Uh, there was one mock-up made of it, and that's about the extent of it. Um, uh, yeah, there, there's not really a whole lot to say about it. I mean, there's a little bit of information, but they they developed a couple different kinds of tanks along this P43 uh, design. There's a P-43 BIS, uh, which would, of course, be the Tier 7 after this tank. Um, 1943, they were looking for, you know, a little bit better armored um, medium tank. Uh, more along the lines of, like, the T-34 from the Russians. Uh, with about a 420 horsepower engine and a 75 millimeter gun. Uh, this, some of the later models, was, were going to get the 90 millimeter on it. Um, but, they, like I said, there's not really a whole lot of information out there about the, uh, these tanks. Uh, apparently there was kind of a design process going on, and uh, this happened to be one that was, you know, um, one of the one in the line of the design process. Uh, like I said, wooden model is always uh, is the only real um, thing we have for sure that it w that was about it. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what do we get in game? Well, <laughs> I'm not sure if I hate this tank. Or I'm gonna like this tank. Um, yeah, uh, it's not that I can't win in it. It's just eh, 110 average damage per shot, 118 average penetration, 16.73 um, rate of fire, 3.59 reload time. Um, I haven't quite got that first guy up to the to the. Uh, this was my uh, Progetto M35 Mod 46 uh, crew that I put in here. Uh, so therefore, I'm still kind of working it up to at least the BIA, and I haven't quite got it there yet. I usually don't spend gold when I retrain them, I just play it out. Um, so yeah, so 3.59 reload time, 41.15 for the turret traverse speed, negative 10 degrees gun impression, which really kind of helps this tank a little bit. Um, it is somewhat bouncy, at least turret-wise, against its own tier, but after that, it's about pretty much air. 2.33 aim times, 0.4 dispersion. Yes, the gun stats on this tank fucking suck. Uh, um, my my suggestion: play like a Russian, uh, full bloom snapshot, hit every time. 1,840 average damage per minute, 460 hit points, uh, 80 on the front, 50 on the side, 50 in the rear. Uh, some of the later developments of these. Prototype tanks for the Italians were going to put almost 100 millimeters on the front, so which would have made it even more heavily armored than, say, um, a Tiger I, uh, or, you know, obviously even the T-34s, even the Panthers. Uh, it would have been more heavily armored. Uh, however, this does bounce stuff. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, this does bounce, if you know, just a little bit off on the angle or whatever. Yeah, you're going to bounce some of the... Um, uh, most of the tier 5 stuff, same way with the gun mantlet and all that kind of stuff, you will bounce stuff. Uh, other than that, no, it pretty much just eats shells. Uh, turn armor is 80, 50 on the side, 50 on the rear. So like I said, this right here, uh, unless they hit the flat spots, there is a fair amount of chance this is going to to um, bounce. Uh, however, if they hit up the top here or the cupola, uh, no go on that. Uh, 32 tons, 430 uh Horsepower, 14.15 specific power, 42 point, 42 top speed, 18 in reverse. Yeah, um, not the quickest medium, but it, it'll do. Concealment's pretty much blah. Uh, view range right now is 345, 518 for the signal range. <coughs> uh, you know, this is, like I said, just pretty much 100% true, and it's just working on the PIA. Um, of course, those numbers are going down a little bit, but... Uh, not a whole lot. I'm s probably the, the aim size is probably going to get down to 2.2, uh, maybe a little bit more. And the same way with the uh, dispersion, will probably be 0 0.39. Still pretty much fucking sucks. Uh, yeah, this isn't a snipey snipey tank. Um, 
works well with anything under about 100 meters. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what you get. So I'll bring up a couple of battles for you guys to look at this. And I'll be running down the line uh, as I get this one to the 7, or to the 6, to the 7, to the 8, uh, and just doing kind of review on them and see what they're like. Uh, the first four are pretty much eh, so I, like I said, I jumped up to the five. This at least it looked interesting. Um, so yeah, we'll bring up the gameplay for you guys and uh, you can check it out. All right, guys, back with the first battle in the P43. So, um, yeah, I do believe this is my third battle or something like that. I got some really good matchmaking. Obviously, the first one you're always stopped here, uh, and I was surprised I got the third one stopped here. So, Elf. Uh, four tier fives and uh, some fours. Rest them all fours. Uh, so we're going to pull on over here. There. So you notice there is a ton of people playing Italian tanks. Uh, there's the P2640. Another P2640. Yeah, they're they're everywhere. Um, so we're going to pull on over here and see what the Kung Fu Kenny's up to. Uh, there's another P2640 over there. AMX ELC. And around the corner we go up to the top. So we've already lost the Leopard, however that was not kind enough to let me know where the T1 Heavy was. So I don't have to worry about him. So, uh, pull up here, pull up on the uh, P43, there we go, one shot into him, 119. Uh, we're just going to take a little peeky pokey around here on this corner here, uh, see if there's actually anything over here. Um, nope. So, push through, there's the P2640. And up we go. See if I can get a shot on him. No, can't quite climb up enough to get the, get it down on him, so we're not going to deal with him. Um, I got a T-34 here to whack a mole if he has to. Um, pull around here. Got the M5A1 uh, hanging out. I'm not sure what exactly he's up to, but apparently that's the uh, correct place to sit. Put one shell into him. Put two shells into him. Finish him off. Here's the P-26 right here. Put one in the lower plate. All right, let's see if we can finish him off. Put another one into him. Ooh, it's got, it's like I said, pretty decent reload on it. Um, you know, right around 3.5 seconds. So you can go through here. You can uh, fire pretty quickly here. So miss the P40. Finish one shell into him. Didn't finish him off. Pick up the other P26. Um, so we got one more to go here. Oh shit! There's an M4. That's never good. So pull up. Put one into him and put two into him and I track him see if we can finish him off nope and we got the M4 here so my engine's out eh, about 925 damage so far so I got M4 Raven Dave uh, and the other PT, PT, P2640 so around the corner we come Let's see if we can nail Dave here before he gets away put one into him ooh he bounced put one more into him yeah there we finish him off uh, and I got one more. There's the P26 around the corner. So, put one end to him. And finish him off. Oh, fuck. Yes, that's right. There actually was the Hitzer sitting up on the side. Uh, yeah, and my lack of armor, just not so good. So, once again, great little gun. If you can stay within the 100, 150 meter range, uh, it works fine. Long distance shooting with that thing just fucking sucks. Uh, so, uh, we pick up the, pick up the, he I, we, I didn't pick up the Hetzer, I'm sorry, I got fucking derped by the Hetzer, go figure. Uh, but we're not going to bore you with this, we do go on to win the game. Um, but yeah, it, it did, I did get a high caliber out of it with this uh, gun, uh, with the 3.5 second reload, rough reload or whatever, uh, it, does, it does well against its own tier and down. So, one more game for you guys, check out this uh Italian sausage. All right, guys, back with the next game in the P43. Um, like I said, I, I was kind of, kind of uh, about this tank. I'm not sure if I really hate it or love it, or I can't say I really love it. Uh, hate might be the better word for it. Right at this point, um, I'm not terribly sure if that's going to be because of crew yet. Maybe the crew helps out a little bit. Uh, but the gun handling just seems to really be so meh, you know. Especially if you're doing only getting 110 damage per shell. Uh, and that really nice reload, but yeah. And it's not really mobile. It's not quick. It's not fast. It's not... It doesn't turn well. 
Um, yeah. Not really the best of anything, really. However, hopefully it gets better. So up the hill we go. Got some 2640s with us. Uh, pick up the PZ20 T25 coming up. And we got the Lukes up on top. Two Lukes. Luches on top of the hill. So, uh, yeah. Let's see what we can find here. Pull around here. They put a couple shells in the T25. Uh, ooh, let's see here. I've kind of been waiting here. I'm hoping to see anything that pulls up around this corner here. So T150 comes up. There's the P26. Pick up the first shell. Not much for a quick snapshot. So we're going to move up here until we get a little bit better shot on the P2640. Come on, what are you going to do, buddy? There we go. Pick him up. He bounces. See up that upper plate on there? Yeah. that's uh, At that angle, it's pretty much a guaranteed bounce with these uh, smaller guns. Let's pull around here and see if we can... Uh, Trying to sneak one next to his side of his turn didn't work out. Uh, pick up the uh, P26. I'm going to look at the T20, that T67, uh, but he doesn't seem to have any, want anything to do with it. So we got some sixes here and some fours. Uh, we'll see what we can do here. So we're going to pull around. T67 is like, no, nah, I'm not going to stick my head around. So we're going to pull around and yeah, there we go. Pick up the uh, P26, put a shell into him, uh, and we get the uh, T. 150 come up here. I don't really have much chance. I was trying to go for his track there. Uh, let's see what he's going to do here. Come on, buddy. There we go. Let's see if we can pick up the track this time. Pick up the track this time. Destroy it. Now I'm just going to be sitting here waiting to see if we can pick up a couple shells on him. Nope. He turned his turn just a little too fast for me. Uh, let's see if I can get the lower plate. Oh, uh, can't quite slide it in there. So that leaves me with the upper. All right. We'll pick up his Capola. Nailed that one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there you go. Give me your side of your turret. And one more. Put that one in there. Finish off the T-150. Now I got the, uh... Oh, okay, now what are you going to do? Try to do the snapshot. Didn't work. Let's say over the top we come. Pick up the first one. Pick up the second one. All right. And we're pretty much just absolutely wrecking. And this was pretty much every night. Either you got wrecked or you did the wrecking. That was that was the extent of this. So put up, pick up the first one and ricochet off his rear. Go figure. Back up. Oh, KV2 says no fucking thank you. Pick up the uh, P26. I take it in the track. Take it into the knee, I guess. Uh, he's almost dead. 30 hit points left. Around the corner we come. Pick him up. And we got one more guy here. Try to snapshot it in there. Not nah, didn't work. Around the corner we go. Come on, where are you at, buddy? Oh, he gives me one there. There we go. Finish him off. And I actually did bounce 440 damage. Go figure. So, off we go. Uh, let's see, we got the left, left, left. Uh, the premium... Yeah, that premium tank for the uh, premium artillery for the French. Let's see if we can pick him up here quick. Nope. Uh, yep, they finish him off. So, that's the second game. I'm going to bring you a third one. Uh, I only played a, uh, seven games in this tonight. Uh, so I got this one. Most of them were... Alright guys, back with the last game in the P43. So, this was my last game of the night. Uh, after this battle, I was like pretty much said, fuck it. It wasn't worth going on any further. Uh, I'll have to start grinding this tank a little bit more seriously. Uh, yeah. So, we're going to head over to the 1-2 line. Not a big fan of going up the hill. Um, not with this kind of tank, at least. Uh, so, we're going to pull over here. We got a P-43 BIS there. And, uh, essentially, this it's this tank with a little bit different turret with, uh, I think, I do believe it has a 90 mil on it. Uh, the 75 is not bad. I, I just wish the accuracy was a little bit better. Uh, I mean, I can deal with the long uh, aim times, but... Uh, yeah, that accuracy at 0 0.40, uh, not the best. So, T71's here with me. Uh, I'm not sure what he's up to, but hey, we're going to see what we can do. Got Private Platypus come up here. Pull over here, see if we can pick up a tank real quick. And we're just going to... I thought I was going to get lucky, maybe pick up a... Um, but nope. 
pick up this guy here in the P43. Alright, so let's see what he does. Um, people always poke after they shoot. Let's poke again, because I'm already pre-aimed. <laughs> I love it. Alright, there you go. Poke out, poke out. Oh, put one right into him for 128. Hmm, let's see here. Not sure what's going to happen. PZ34 knocks out our P4H. Oh, jeez. So, um, yeah, these guys are just kind of hanging out here. I'm not sure what they're up, they're up to. So I'm not going to dick around here because, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to see if I can get down the one line. So I pull out a little bit further away, hopefully drop out of their view range, and let's see what we can do here. But instead, they almost nail me. Go figure. Pick up the AMX 1375. He's already tossed his clip. Come on, buddy. Nope. No shot. So, I got the M4 and an OI Experimental. <sighs> well, let's see here. This isn't going to go well. We're already down 0-3. Uh, so, we're just going to be trying to rack up some damage here. This this game pretty much looked like it was fucked from the start. Um, pull around here. We got the OI, the M4. And an AMX 1375 was running away, most likely reloading. So I was kind of hoping to get the AMX 1375, but eh, we'll see what we can do. Um, nothing sitting around here middle, so we're going to pull in behind this guy. Uh, switch over to uh, a premium round because I want to shoot the, the OI, but he's already dead. Pull in around here. We got the M4 E8. And he doesn't even know I'm here. Pick up the first shell. I was going for the track, but it didn't work out. There we got him. Now we got the track. Now that I got him kind of already. Yep, there we go. Hmm. See what he's going to do here. Bounces off my clearly well-angled armor. Pick up the M4. <sighs> so, AMX 1375, where are you at? Not there. Around the corner we go. So the P43 was spotted in mid. Now he is right here in center. What's, what are you doing? So it's 2-4. I'm thinking, oh, well, maybe not too bad here. Pick him up. One, two, one more. Nope, P43 Bisc gets him. And we're sitting at 3-5. This kind of looks like a comeback coming on here, but 3-4 uh, just fucked up our artillery. artillery. Uh, so we're going to see what we can find here in the center. Nothing. We're at 4-6. Not looking too shabby. Uh, P43 Bisc goes the other direction. He gets the PZ-3-4. Uh, hill looking pretty decent, but ew, blitz the uh, P43 bis gets wrecked uh, by all the TDs sitting in the back. Hill looks like it's kind of fucked <sighs> one of those days. So pull around the corner here, and I'm just looking to see if that 3-4 is going to pull around the corner. He's not going to do it. So we're sitting at 4-9. We're down five tanks. The hill is still fucked, sitting around waiting for what's happening. I don't know. So I'm going to wait here and see what happens. Um, I pick up the uh, last, I don't know, one more P-43 on the hill. Uh, Jagdpanzer IV is coming around here. The VK is like, nah, I'm out of here. It's about the time I pick up the T-34. Uh, there we go. Oh, shit, the IKV. And you're going to see what I'm talking about, this high rate of fire. He comes around the corner. Pick up the first one. He gets me on the run. Pick up the second one. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can't quite get the bottom shell, and not quite over the top, but pick up him. Uh, 122 left, and can I get him? Oh, roll low, and I get kilt, kilt. So yeah, that was last night. That was the last game of the night, so I said, fuck it. It just wasn't worth it. Um, I had been on a two-game losing streak. Yeah, well, I only played seven, so wasn't too shabby. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it definitely has the potential to put out a lot of damage. Uh, especially in its own tiers. So, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, gameplay from the P23. Yeah, so uh, we'll see you guys uh, later.